Hey guys, here with another video. I got a quick question for anybody who knows. Maybe, especially if anyone that works from Testo is watching this. Um, I called Testo and they're in the middle of trying to figure out what's going on. But I noticed a couple days ago I was retrofitting an, R, an old R22 system with a R421A, as you can see right here. And what I noticed was my saturation temperature through the Testo app is different than this is another box of R421A as you can see um, that one's just about well it's not empty but it's close to it um, this one over here on the box they give you the 421, 421A PT charge you can see right here and what I noticed was I got my Testo hooked up to it I have it's 137.9 let me uh, get it to focus here real quick make sure we get it good there we go 137.9 psi which the app is telling me is equal to 83.5 saturation now 138 if I go over here and go into pressure and look for 138 it's gonna be between 75 and 80 degree temperature but here showing me it's 83.5 so according to the refrigerant drum PT chart um, uh, 83.6 saturation is going to be probably about 154 ish roughly between 150 and 154 and we're 138 so the PT chart from the from the refrigerant does not match the PT chart for 421A. See, and I'm on there 421A, and that's what I have on the PT chart 421A. But it doesn't make any sense. It, it threw me off when I was charging the system up a couple days ago because I was going through the app and, and it just the the charge didn't make any sense. And I looked at the box. I had a new box, sorry, and I saw, because uh, when I charged it up, I only had the drum, which doesn't come with the PT chart, but I got a new box, and I looked at the the chart there, and the numbers here do not match the numbers at the app, so the, I'm, I'm assuming the PT chart from the refrigerant company is the accurate one, I would imagine. I would think that the fault would be at Testo's end, but anyway, that's what I got here. I noticed that's a... Uh, that's a boo-boo. Um, so hopefully they can do some changes on the app and do a update. Probably because not many people work with 421A, I would imagine. But uh, just thought you guys might find that interesting. If you are working on 421A, as of now, do not use the app. Use your drum PT chart. All right, guys. See you on the next one.